Scott, this morning we'll show you a patient who is one week post uh, mentally invasive Austin Aiken. We call that the MIA procedure. Now we're doing a study that kind of compares the MIA procedure to the uh, SERI procedure, uh, which we is a S E R I. Both of these are mentally invasive procedures. We're kind of comparing to see which one may be a little better than the other, or if they're about the same. Uh, we're not going to give you all the details and, and the answer yet, but Here's a patient we performed a MIA procedure on. This is one week later. And see what we do with this. We, we perform the uh, uh, V-shaped osteotomy uh, distally, uh, which is like the Austin, and we, play, we push that over. This is a fixation for that. This is done away from the dorsal mediocutaneous nerve, so the patients have very little pain with this. And this is done in between the dorsal nerve and the plantar nerve where the fixation is placed here. So this is, we have a fixation in the Aiken and a fixation in the, uh, in the, uh, in the mentally invasive Alston here. So one of, the, one of the interesting things with the mentally invasive Alston Aiken is how the patients feel afterwards. So right now we're at, on, we're at seven days and I'm going to ask the patient right now seven days how much pain are you having from zero to ten? Zero being no pain, ten being pain. What is it today? Zero. Zero today. Okay, so <laughs> right now it's zero, which we will show you how that compares to the Siri procedure, um, because there is some differences there, especially in the uh, in the fixation and, and how the patients tolerate it. So uh, if you place the fixation away from the nerves, it doesn't hurt. So. Uh, this is what we got so far. We are going to kind of uh, uh, band her up today. She's going to stay in the uh, in the actual surgical shoe. So with the Siri, we have to we have to do a, a, a casting, usually a cam walker. With a Mia, the patient can walk in just a a basic surgical shoe. So this is a very stable construct. The way we are fixating this and allows the patient to walk and to have no pain. Uh, uh, fairly quick after the surgery. This is a good example. Patients one week out with zero pain. Okay. Okay, we'll show you a, a Siri patient. So I suppose one week and show you how these patients get better pretty quick with bunion uh, correction. You know, we're doing we're doing a comparative study. Uh, comparing the Siri to the MIA procedure, and that will be in the publications uh, pretty soon. But this is a Siri procedure. This is one week after the uh, surgery. Uh, you can kind of look at her foot. So she had a, her, you know, this is where we make the incision. It's pretty small incision. The incision is about this big here. And what we do, we alter this a little bit with the placement of the, of the uh, stomach pin. We do that so it doesn't interfere with the osteotomy. So for this patient, we did a Siri procedure, which is a bunion deformity uh, osteotomy, and we also corrected the hallux um, valgus portion by performing a incomplete uh, osteotomy on the base of the, of the proximal phalanx. So it gives us uh, kind of what we get we can get with the MIA procedure, uh, but we also can do this with Siri, and it gives you a little bit more a little better correction than just one or the other.